Vitamin A plays very important roles in our body. The sense of vision, for example, is possible thanks to this molecule, among other functions. But, how is this molecule synthesized? How you doing guys? Welcome to our channel Mente Química. My name is Francisco Cruz and today we are going to talk about the biosynthesis of vitamin A. From glucose through the isoprenoid route, also known as the mevalonate route, specifically the most important chemical reactions that occur in it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video with your classmates. Glucose is reduced with adenosine triphosphate and reacts with the enzyme phosphofructokinase to synthesize an unstable molecule called fructose 1,6-biphosphate. This breaks down to form two molecules of in equilibrium, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and dehydroxyacetone phosphate. These molecules in the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate form are oxidized with adenosine biphosphate and nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate to synthesize pyruvate. Pyruvate is oxidized with nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate and coenzyme A to form acetyl CoA. Acetyl CoA reacts with the enzyme beta hydroxy beta methylglutaryl coenzyme A synthase to form beta hydroxy beta methylglutaryl coenzyme A. This molecule is reduced with beta hydroxy beta methylglutaryl coenzyme A reductase to synthesize mevalonate. Mevalonate is reduced with adenosine triphosphate to form two molecules in equilibrium isopentanyl perphosphate and its isomer dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate. These two molecules undergo elongation to form a molecule called farnesyl pyrophosphate. With elongation, it refers to the growth of an enzyme chain of another molecule. So, these molecules come together to lengthen the chain and form farnesyl pyrophosphate. Farnesyl pyrophosphate reacts with the enzyme geranyl pyrophosphate synthase to form a molecule called geranyl pyrophosphate. Geranyl pyrophosphate is dimerized with the enzyme phytoin synthase to produce the molecule phytoin. Phytoin undergoes a series of desaturations to produce lycopene. We would think that lycopene is not a probit A molecule and therefore doesn't produce vitamin A, but this is not entirely true. What happens with probit A molecules is that when they are in the intestine, they are capable of being converted into vitamin A or retinol through an oxidative breakdown, such as beta carotene, alpha carotene, gamma carotene. These characteristics occur because they have in their structure a cyclic compound called beta ionan, as we see in the next samples. But if lycopene is not a provitamin A carotenoid, how does it participate in its biosynthesis process? Lycopene undergoes a series of cyclizations thanks to its reacting with the enzyme lycopene cyclase. From these cyclizations, the beta and epsilon ionon rings of alpha and beta carotenes are formed, in this case becoming a beta carotene. Already in the intestine, beta carotene undergoes an oxidative breakdown and turns it into vitamin A or retinol. This has been the process of vitamin A biosynthesis. If you enjoyed this kind of video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. This has been the biosynthesis of vitamin A from your channel Mente Química. Until the next one.